What's up, everybody? It's Strings and Sweaters. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. The Bruins dropped three new jerseys yesterday, and I am here to talk about it. Let's get into this. Welcome back. Um, so today, um, I'm going to try to be easy on my voice because I just had a concert last night with my band, Bend the Knee. If you haven't checked us out yet, please go over to Bend the Knee underscore VA. Um, I'm going to put a clip of our music video we just shot that's on our channel right now. It's uh, pretty amazing. We're going to do a reaction video for it. Um, it was a crazy process. We drove all the way up to New York City. Uh, to get this music video shot. We just had our first show last night in D.C. That was also crazy. Somebody broke their nose during the set. Just wild stuff going on. D.C., you are savages. All right, but let's talk about what this video is about, the new Bruins jerseys. So um, for their centennial year, uh, which marks like 100 years uh, in their uh, team's history, they're putting out... Um, three new jerseys, one's home, one's away, and one... Why are my cats always doing something, man? Yeah, like, they're opening up doors and stuff. Anyway, so, let's look at that home jersey first. I'll give you my just initial reactions on it. Um, just a reference, um, here's a picture of the Bruins' um, normal home jersey they wore last year and for, I think, probably... It's been a consistent home jersey for the last 15 years. I don't think they've changed too much about this, um, especially. Uh, it's just it's just one of those classic NHL jerseys. So it's gonna be it's gonna be quite a change um, to see them on the ice with these new these new Centennial jerseys. But that's all right. I'm open to change, and let's get into it. So I'm gonna put a picture right now up of the new. Bruins home jersey. Let's look at this thing. All right. So, first thing I notice about these jerseys, and especially this home, is that the shoulder stripage, like the Bruins are known to have this like shoulder stripe of yellow and white, and they're kind of like they cut off in triangular fashion and angles on the end of the shoulder. Um, but that's like a big hallmark for the Bruins jersey, and it is gone. They have a bare shoulder area and it is definitely looking a bit strange for a Bruins jersey now um I already knew about the Bruins change in their crest um they actually showed that I think a few months ago on Twitter where they changed the color of their um the B and the background is has yellow in it now um which is cool I'm all for it but one thing I am going to have a gripe with here is this new gold stitching they have used a metallic gold stitching and i wore my um buffalo sabers anniversary jersey here because this also has this metallic gold jersey that you'll or gold stitching that you'll see on this jersey um this is a little bit looking to be more of a vibrant metallic stitching um than what's on the bruins um this is more of like what you see in like Vegas's home and away jersey with this like very shimmery blue or sorry, shimmery gold um, stitching here. So um, so I think it's like kind of like they found a like a medium ground between like what Vegas is doing, which is just super uh, flashy and like kind of like just a little bit of gold speckle in it. Because you can't really see it that much. Um, but either way, um, the striping job is definitely cool. I like all the stripes going down the arms. Um, definitely very classic vintage Bruins. But I will say Bruins are not a team that should have gold flex in any of their stripes in anywhere on their jersey. Um, the Bruins are a, like in my opinion, a bruiser team. They are, you know, all about, you know, hitting hard, um, sort of like a blue collar mentality when it comes to sports. Um, they're not a flashy team. So it's just like, I mean, really imagine if the Flyers came out with a jersey 
and it had like you know this like glittery gold and silver all over it not that it would have gold but it's not it's not a move for this franchise um just looking at the jersey if i didn't know any history of the bruins i like it um i like the gold um striping down the arms um but at the same time the jersey is a little bit bland with the shoulders only having that centennial patch on them and no other stripes. Um, so this is a kit that I definitely look forward to um, seeing with numbers because I think the numbers will definitely uh, enhance this this look. All right, moving on to the away jersey. I'm going to put the Bruins away, old away uh, from last season up here. Very classic, just vintage jersey. Um and they're throwing it back. So here's the new one. Um, it's very similar to the home uh, shoulders. They took away all that um, striping that they had right um, on, like the um, like right where your uh, collarbone sits. They took that striping away. You just got this bare shoulder that just blends into um, the torso. Um, I would say that the flex, the gold flex work way better for the away jersey. Um, this is much better. And I love the prime green stitching on the logo, how they created this like cool 3D depth in the um, the areas where the B um, has the negative space. I think that looks really awesome. Um, uh, also, uh, the gold flex looks so much better with like um, a black stripe sitting next to them rather than a white stripe. It really makes it pop. Um, so if I were to get one of these jerseys, it probably would be the away jersey. Um, it's a very sick jersey. Okay. Now moving on to their third jersey. And their third jersey took me by surprise. Um, now they have actually kept the shoulder stripes from their um, previous jersey. And they have the strings um, that hang down from their previous jersey on this third. But they took the logo and they made the background brown. So uh, I think the Bruins in the 50s or 60s had a brown um, logo um, for a little bit. And the brown is definitely one of the Bruins colors. Um, so that's very interesting to me. Um, very Donkey Kong vibes on this with this yellow and brown. Um, and then they added the text uh, font 1924, which is their inaugural season, which is very important since this is their centennial throwback jersey for being around 100 years, um, which is, it's cool. I think it's a cool way to, to show, um, like, a cool homage to that, um, that first uh, Bruins team. And then up in the collar... You have, I believe, Stanley Cup um, championship years, 1929, 1939, 1941, 70, 72, and then 2011 was the most recent one that I remember. Um, they got the Centennial patch, which is looking really good on there in that prime green stitching. I think this jersey is actually... Uh, it's just like the prime green was really well utilized on this, especially with that B um, uh, crest. Um, very stark contrast from that recent Ducks anniversary drop where the Duck logo, even though it was prime green stitching, had like bubbling all over it and just looked like a hot mess. So they got this jersey right. Um, the only like this. Yeah, this alternate is is solid. And I love that the yellow is like a little bit kind of like a lighter faded yellow on this one. Super, super 60s vibe from this. Um, awesome jersey. Um, this is probably the one I would definitely buy um, if I were to get one. Um, the only thing I might change on this, uh, the alternate, is like maybe since the logo has the brown background, also make the stripes brown. Because you have this like off-white cream kind of white um base and then that like kind of like faded out yellow like yeah put in brown why not do brown all the way why would you do black for the stripes up top um so almost a perfect jersey just a little nitpicky stuff but i do need to see these jerseys with numbers so i may do another video once that comes out to show what they look like um and actually they did show some players wearing the jerseys so let me see actually 
if they had numbers on those jerseys for the player reveal. Oh, they do. Okay. All right. So the alternate, the numbers are highlighted in yellow. That looks good. And then on the home and away, they are also highlighted in like that gold fleck. Um, but honestly, the numbers do not exactly make this jersey busy enough in a way. It's like almost too bland, almost too blank. The numbers are not adding like enough to the jersey for me. Although, man, this March Marchand's rocking the alternate and it looks so freaking good. I would say if I were to get this one of these jerseys, I would definitely uh, pass up the blank one and go with um, go with the numbered one, and probably get a March Hand uh, jersey. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the numbers definitely the numbers with that that gold metallic fleck font around it make that pop. All right. Well, the numbers just definitely raised my overall like thoughts on this jersey. I think that. These are actually very nice. Um, uh, to rank these jerseys, I would probably put home at the very bottom, away next, and then that alternate as the number one jersey. Um, in ranks with like other jersey releases, like reverse retros, I would probably put like the alternate in the middle of the pack of the reverse retros. It's definitely better than most of them. Um, Obviously, um, it's not trying to do the same stuff as the reverse retros, but um, now when it comes to like how these jerseys rank in all-time Bruins jerseys, um, unfortunately, the Bruins have had some strong jerseys, so I would say that these actually rank like kind of last for me. These are probably the worst. It's hard to. It's weird to say this. These probably are like the worst Bruins jerseys, but they're fresh and they look good and they look better than what they could have looked like. Um, the, like, I just think gold metallic fleck shouldn't be on a Bruins jersey. So to me, they're uh, just they're not better than uh, what they had last season. But I, I give them credit for going out and trying to do something new. But um, anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments about these new jerseys. Um, are you going to cop one? Um, which one's your favorite? Um uh, which one is the worst? What is the worst aspect of these jerseys? What do you think? Um, I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have new videos out soon. Um, and you can check out my last video I dropped on the Browns whiteout jersey that they will be wearing uh, this Monday to play the Steelers. But anyways, it's strings and sweaters. Peace out, y'all.